Uh, hello, everyone. This is uh, Vladimir Kenar. I'm going to do my presentation for this uh, week at this assignment. Um, so what I'm going to do is just using CSS, I'm going to replicate something like this. Uh, this is a very interesting menu. Uh, and this logo, it's looking, we can do it. So uh, I'm going to do ju using just CSS and the border writers as well. And we have what we have learned during this week. So this is my, my menu. Uh, I main uh, I put some names of the of the elements class names. So this is the menu, menu map, menu URL, etc. Okay, so this is um, the, the the menu. So first, I'm gonna create some variables. Okay, I'm gonna use the width of eighty percent uh, of the screen, and I will set up this my uh, div menu class. This is the color one that will be the background color of the div element, and that's the red one. And the color number two that will be for the menus, for the menu. And the font color, uh, I want to make this uh, white. And this is the radius, I'm going to play with this radius as well. I'm going to put 50% and 10. Uh, this means that uh, top right, top, uh, top left, and top right, that will be 0, 0. And the bottom for top and right, that would be 50 pixels for the menu board radius, and this is for mm -hmm. the allied mm -hmm. elements. So it um, keeps the same uh, border radius for two for the two elements. So um, let's let's work with this. Uh, so for the menu, first of all, let's do this just to border solid one pixels. Okay, all right, so I have all this. Uh, and actually, uh, I'm gonna explain to you because I created this span element, but this span element is just to put inside of this span element, this arrow. So that's, that's the reason why I have this. So this is my HTML. I just use this just to visual, have all these visual things. And let's work with this, uh, the menu. Okay, what I'm going to do with the menu. It is, <coughs> sorry, uh, the width 80%, okay? The background color, that will be the red one. And the border radius, this is the border radius, 50 and 50. Okay, that's the menu. Okay, inside of my menu, I will have my UL element. For my UL element, <coughs> This is my UL element. Okay, for my menu UL element, I will display as a flex so I can move all this uh, inside of this. This uh, is justify center, so move it to the center. Width, uh, not necessarily this width is, uh, I put 80%, but it doesn't matter if I take this out. So um, doesn't need this because it's going to be in the center. The padding, I will move this um, UL element uh, just in the middle, uh, using uh, 10 pixels to the bot uh, to the top and bottom, and zero zero to the left and right. And the margin, I will use the zero and outdoor just to make this in the center. If I take this out, you will see all the element. Oh, I re really I don't need it because I'm using I'm using this uh, justify center, but let's. Yeah, let's do this, this margin. Margin is zero, so that, that's going to be better, okay? So that's in the, in the center. Um, inside of this, I have my ally element, so let's go with my ally element. My ally element, um, All right, my ally element, what, I, what I'm going to do is just display in like as a block. So I take this bullet out. The background color, I'm using the blue one. Uh, the font color, this is the white one that I set up right here, in the font color, All right? The padding, that would be five pixels from the top and, and to the bottom. And 15 pixels, I can move this to 10. Uh, 10 or 15, okay, let's use 15. Pixels to the right and to the left. The margin uh, zero and zero dot five, so I can have a space between the the menu. So if I remove this, uh, it doesn't look nice. So let's 
set up the 5%, right? So I have my menu here. Uh, the border radius, the border radius, I'm using the same uh, border radius, 10, 10, okay? So it keeps the same um, presentation at the parent, all right? So I have my border radius and the font size, I put like a 150 just to increase the font size for the, for the menu. And I'm gonna draw this uh, rows, okay? So I'm gonna put this inside of the span element. So I'm going to go with the span. Okay, so inside of my span, first, um, all right, so this is for my span. The border left, is going to be 10 pixels transparent, okay? Border right, 10 pixels transparent, and the border top, that will be uh, the same as the font color, white. So I, I draw my triangles there. That's my arrow, and, well, it's not an arrow, it's a triangle uh, right here. And that will be for the my bus. As you can see, this is not uh, in a good position, so let's change to relative position. And the offset for this uh, relative position that would be dot, uh, let's say it's 10 px. Uh, let's just move just a little more. 15 px. Okay, that's that's good. And the left will move it to 10 px. All right, that's that's really good. Okay, I think that's 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 good. Okay, so this is my 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 our um our, I think that's pretty much for this and I will just remove this border we don't need it. All right, it looks it looks good. Okay, and let let's make this uh, but I'm gonna do this as a banner, so let's draw this element. Yeah, uh, this element it is the flat element, so I'm gonna create the flag class and I will work inside of the flag class. Okay, first I'm gonna let's uh, do this border so you can see my element. Okay, so you can see my element. This um, this element we will set up with a width of 100 pixels and a height of 80 pixels. Okay, this is going to be my, my, my element, all right? So let's make this a background color of uh, red. All right. Um, the position of this element, we want to move right here. So we can uh, set up this uh, position, absolute position with an offset of top zero pixels, all right, uh, maybe five pixels, or eight pixels, okay, let's do eight, all right, and let's go to the left, okay, seven percent, so it keeps, it, it keeps the same, uh, different width of the screen, keep the same, uh, seven percent, or five percent. All right, my element will be set up uh, like that, okay? All right, so that's, that's going to be my, my, my flag. So I need to draw um, a triangle here. All right, I'm gonna put, not, not, not the same as this one, I'm gonna make as a flag. So to do this a flag, um, I will set up Right here, I'm gonna explain it before. Okay, so I will put this content with the absolute position inside of this one. So left and bottom zero zero, that will go right here to the bottom. And as we draw the same right here, we need to set up the width and the height element as a zero zero. The border bottom, it is 25 pixels, okay? 
and as this element it is 100 pixels so I need to set up to make this just in the middle my border left and the right uh, 50 pixels and 50 pixels solid transparent so I make this this flat right so let's remove uh, this border solid all right it's already looking good and then uh, let's put my name inside Marco. okay but it doesn't look it doesn't look nice so let's make uh, this right here okay this is just to uh, make a style for the text what I'm doing it is putting putting the color white okay um, the font size that would be 13 pixels all right the letter spacings I would make as your that one EM text align center turns transform upper cases so that will be go to upper cases and padding top I will move this element the text um, 15 pixels all right, so I think this being completed, that's my menu uh, using CSS. Um, and actually, maybe we can play with this. And we just remove my uh, left, my right bottom corner to zero, zero. Uh, okay, it looks good. Um, we can just play around with this, but this is finally my project. Okay, that's, that's going to be my project that I did. It. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, please let me, let me know. Thank you very much.